welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson 33D, and I wasn't supposed to be at 33D, but this is just going to be a quick follow-up to uh, clarify uh, or expand on the uh, last lesson, 33C, using auto voice. Um, because there's an easier, simpler, easier way to do it than what we did it before in this context. And I want to make sure that uh, I get you that information because it might be important information to know. Uh, let's go into the tasks that we created. Uh, if you remember, we had two profiles. Uh, one that uh, uh, let you know you had a message and asked if you wanted it read. Uh, a reminder and then use auto voice to get the answer and then a separate profile that would be triggered by that answer. Um, the truth is, uh, although that's probably a good principle to learn because uh, if you want to use auto voice extensively because there are times when you're going to need to do that, uh, it's not necessarily uh, the way you have to do it for this uh, profile. There is a much simpler way uh, because of a feature that was added to auto voice in one of the uh, I want to say recent updates, but it might have been a couple months ago. Uh, so let's uh, go into the task and I'll show you what I mean. So we had the uh, uh, stop command if uh, the phone's uh, uh, in silent mode, basically silent or vibrate. So uh, then we had the variable set to set the uh, reminder notification to the uh, gnow variable. And then we had say Google now reminder want to hear it. Then we had auto voice set last command ID, and we had auto voice recognize. Well, in this new setup, you don't need to worry about the last command ID because we're not going to be using the uh, uh, profile we used before. We're just going to say uh, auto voice uh, recognize. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the little edit button, and we're going to go down to matching options. Click matching options and then go down here and check this. Don't trigger conditions. So if you check this then uh, what you're saying is you just want auto voice to, to, to get your voice input for this task. You don't want that voice input to possibly trigger another profile you've set up based on voice input. So if you check this, it's going to be the same as get voice in Tasker, where it just gets your voice and then holds it there for what you have uh, coming next in the task. But that is it. So that's what you do for that. Make sure that is checked. And then now that you have uh, that set, now you can Click the plus button, alert, say, uh, the reminder is, or whatever you want it to be, and then the uh, variable that we set up, g now and then go down to if, click plus sign. If you click the variable tag, you'll see you do have the auto voice variables and we're gonna use auto voice recognize word array and we're gonna make it word one and we're gonna say yes. So basically, uh, we're just saying if the first word that auto voice uh, received is yes, then go ahead and uh, speak this text. And that's all there is to it. Now you don't need the other profile. You don't have to worry about last command ID. This is executing exactly the same way the tasker get voice command would execute. The only difference is uh, because we used uh, auto voice and we chose to uh, uh, the, we checked the hide uh, button and when we configured that so that uh, instead of using the pop-up it uses the notification title which means it'll work whether your phone is uh, uh, on, not on or off necessarily, not powered on or powered off, but whether your phone is 
is display is on and you're using it or if your phone is just sitting there um, and that's why uh, you want to use auto voice to so that it works whether your screen is on or off um, but this is a much simpler setup uh, auto voice recognize go in uh, make that adjustment and once you've done that you no longer need this uh, profile we uh, set up before this is a, a profile triggered anytime auto voice hears the command yes but we don't need that we can take that and delete it because now we've got it all built into here so now the only thing to do is test and see if this works so uh, let's uh, I'm gonna set up a, a reminder and then uh, we'll see if it works Google no reminder want to hear it yes the reminder is go to the grocery store so as you can see uh, it works and uh, instead of having two profiles, we have one uh, one profile, and it's all contained within one task. So the other way we did it, uh, you know, may be good if you're creating more advanced stuff with Auto Voice. But for a simple uh, uh, task, or the task is asking you for a response and then does something based on your response within that same task. You can use this method uh, and uh, simplify things a little bit. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Um, click the like button, share it, all those fun things. Subscribe to my channel, blah, blah, blah. I say it every time. You know what to do. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.